Oh, it's a, it's a range of, of uh, different diseases uh, with, a, with, diff, with some different underlying causes. But they, what they have in common is the, that they all respond to the drug L-DOPA. So they're all treated rather similarly, at least in the early stages. But there's a range of different underlying pathologies and a, and a range of different underlying causes. So LERC2 is a very large protein. It's a kinase, that means it puts phosphate groups on other proteins, so it's probably involved, well, I think we know it's involved in the control of processes, intracellular processes. We don't know fully what its role in the cell is, but it looks as if its role is uh, what's called autophagy, and that is uh, the regulation of the breakdown of intracellular organelles in the cell. So we think it's got a kind of controlling role in, uh, in, the, in, in central metabolism within cells. And the muta what the mutation does, what the mutation seems to do is uh, alters the dynamic range of the, of the, of the cell. Uh, so you and I, for example, will have a dynamic range which goes from 1 to 10, let's say, of this autophagic process. And people with the mutations will have a higher chronic background rate, let's say 2 or 3, but they can't go all the way to 10 and they'll only go up to 7 or 8. So instead of you and I will have a range of 1 to 10 when this, as the protein goes from switched off to switched on, but people with this mutation will go from two or three to seven or eight sort of thing. So it, it's quite a complicated uh, effect. The mutation seems to be quite a complicated effect. That's actually a complicated question. It usually does. It usually does. Uh, but actually it's different in different populations and we're just beginning to understand why. So in the English population, for example, if you've got a LERC2 mutation, you have about an 80 or 90% chance of getting Parkinson's disease if you live to 80. But in the Jewish population, it seems to be that even with the same mutation, your chance of getting Parkinson's disease by the time of 70 or 80 is only about 20 or 30 percent. So still significant, but not, the, not, not as much. And we don't really fully understand why it's different. We are beginning to understand and in that there's genetic variability elsewhere in the genome, which influences, this is called the penetrance, influences the penetrance of Parkinson's disease. So we are beginning to understand that, but, there, but, but we're, that, we're at the beginning of that story.